Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this second episode of Rainwater Drainage System webinar presented by Valsir. My name is Alessandro Brevin, and I'm a technical advisor. All the previous and future videos are going to be available on the Valsir Facebook page, on LinkedIn, and on YouTube as well. If you may have any questions during this live, please type it down in the live chat, and I'll be more than pleased to answer at the end of this live. In the previous episode, we saw with my colleague that <clears throat> climate change intensifies the heaviest downpours, making the wettest day weather and heightening flood risk. Moreover, traditional rainwater, more traditional rainwater drainage system are not capable of getting rid of this higher rainwater quantity, caused by more frequent and intense rainy events. In this episode, we're going to discover a more performing rainwater drainage system, the Siphonic one, and we're going to make a comparison with the traditional system on a real case scenario, enlightening the pros of the patented Rain Plus system by Valsir. Rainwater drainage systems are generally divided into gravity or traditional system that works with mixed air and water flow with a 1 to 3 ratio according to the European regulation UNI N12056 and siphonic system that works with a full bore flow. In the previous episode we discover what are the components of a traditional rainwater drainage system and found out that the most important one is the gutter as its undersizing may cause serious problems to the structure below. What are the components of a siphonic rainwater drainage system that make it more efficient than the other one? The components of the Valsir siphonic system are the roof outlets, pipes and fittings, and the clips for fixing them to the structures. The Valsir Rain Plus roof outlets have a special patented device that cause the pipeline to work in a full bore stage and are provided with an anti-vortex plate that avoid air to be suctioned inside the system. In terms of performances, it is possible to drain up to 65 liters per second with a 110 mm pipe in comparison to 11 liters per second of a traditional system with the same pipe diameter. We then have pipes and fittings. A siphonic system works on the basis of negative pressure, so we need mm, to have not any leakage of air from the outside to the inside of the pipes. This is the reason why push fit pipes fittings cannot be used. HDBE pipes are the only one that fit the purpose as the fittings are realized with butt welding or electrofusion coupling, making the system airtight. We then have the fixing components such as clips and support bars that have the purpose to dissipate the amount of force generated by the high water velocity inside the pipes that can easily reach speed up to 10 meters per second. In addition to these, clips and support bars are required to absorb HDPE length variation caused by the increase or decrease in temperature. Let's now see how a traditional system looks in comparison to a siphonic one. A conventional roof drainage system is made of standard outlets. We then have uh, a stack for each of these outlets and it has to be uh, at least as high as the building. All of these stacks are connected to a collector that most of the time is buried inside the building and it has to have a slope. One of the weak points about the traditional rainwater drainage system is that pipes work with a 33% filling ratio for the stacks and 70% filling ratio for the collectors according to the European regulation and a slope is required for, for the horizontal parts. Let's now see the same building with the siphonic drainage system. We're gonna have fewer roof outlets that are provided with anti-vortex plate, horizontal collecting pipe 
installed hanging from the ceiling, a number of downpipe that are not related to the numbers of roof outlets, and in this case we only have one single discharge downpipe, downpipe for each circuit, and it, it, it uh, can be placed uh, on the perimeter of the building. The collectors have no slope, and the system works with the full bore flow. Let's now do some math on a real case scenario and compare the traditional and the siphonic system. We have here an industrial building with a roof area of 2500 square meters and we're considering a rainfall intensity of 108 mm per hour. We're gonna have a flow rate of 18.7 liters per second for the external roof pitches and 37.5 liter per second for the internal ones. Starting with the conventional system design, 14 roof outlets are needed. That means 14 downpipes, one for each roof outlet, with a 90 mm diameter pipe. Side collectors will have a diameter from 110 to 200 mm, and the center collector has a diameter from 125 to 250. The system is composed in total of 270 meters of pipe and 75 fittings. How is the siphonic system going to be like with the same rain conditions and starting data? We're going to have only nine rainless roof outlets, each one with a potential capacity of 65 liters per second. You may then ask why you didn't just place one roof outlet for every pitch. Well, first of all, they will need specific pitch slope that are difficult to realize. Then having more outlets help us to keep the water high as low as possible and to easily drain uh, rainwater of meter outburst. We then have one downpipe 160 mm. The side collectors are gonna be from 90 to 110 mm diameter and the center one is gonna be from 110 to 125 mm diameter. The system is composed by a total of 190 meters of pipe, that means 30% less than the traditional system and only 67 fittings, that means 11% less than the traditional system. Here's a, a recap of the differences between the two rainwater drainage systems design in terms of roof outlets, numbers of downpipes, maximum diameter of the pipes and number of fittings. From an economical point of view, picking the siphonic system instead of the conventional one had to a cost saving on pipes and fittings from 55 to 65 percent and a total cost saving from 20 to 30 percent. Most of this is related to the, ex to the excavation required for the traditional system collectors. Furthermore, choosing the siphonic system instead of the traditional one is going to require up to 30 percent less pipes, 10 percent less fittings and 20 percent less junction. To summarize the pros of the Valsir Rain Plus Siphonic System in comparison to a traditional one, fewer outlets are required, pipes are gonna be with a smaller diameter, and fewer vertical stacks are required. Horizontal collectors do not need slope, and the vertical stacks can be placed on the perimeter of the building. Siphonic System, as we saw before, has better performances because the pipes work in a full bore condition that leads to a high drainage speed that means that Valsir Rain Plus is a self-cleaning system. Last but not least, Rain Plus system simplifies water collection because we can place the system end as close as possible to the collecting tank. And it is the collecting system and the reusage of rainwater that are going to be the next episode topic, the last one of this series about drainage system. Since uh, there are no questions, remember to follow the next live episode about collecting tanks and rainwater reusage. That's going to be next Wednesday, the 17th, at half past 10. So thank you for joining us and have a nice day.